Picture this, lives changed forever. Picture this, young life is the adventure of a lifetime. A life full of memories, of inexplicable joy captured in these printed moments. But what you don't see is the journey it takes to get there. Leaders investing their lives, relentlessly pursuing relationships, regardless of rejection, carrying light in the darkness. Here's a glimpse of behind the scenes of Young Life. I spend my time uh, as a teacher, obviously in the classroom, uh, teaching kids, but I also uh, eat lunch with kids. Uh, we have mission time at school, uh, before school, so we do um, small group Bible study, uh, myself and uh, six guys. Uh, we do stuff uh, occasionally on the weekends, usually about once a month. And um, just any other school activities uh, at the basketball game, practice, um, after school activities, um, we're, we're together. I spend most of my time uh, being a teacher, which is amazing. So I get to spend a lot of time with kids every single day. But on top of that, we have a mission time where I have five girls that I walk with, the journey with, talk to, uh, we read the Bible, we chat about things we've learned in mission time, which is really amazing and maybe sometimes hang out on the weekends. I also have lots of kids coming in and out of my room as a music teacher and as a performing arts teacher doing uh, extra rehearsals. So I have some piano students, some singing students, uh, which is really great and I love that I get to be a performing arts teacher and we do, we get to have a lot of fun. So spend a lot of my time also on school plays and all things like that. So just trying to spend as much time with the kids as possible as well as showing up at all of their basketball games or football games, whatever it is, just to be around them, hanging out with them. So yeah, just want to make uh, as much time as I can to spend time with them. Teenagers, um are dealing with things like identity and again like I said there's there's many voices that they they hear and that they see and experience there's culture there's movies there's friends um, etc um, and and that can be good and bad um, there can be good voices and, and bad voices and what uh, young life and young life leaders try to do is to show them what God thinks about them, to show them that Jesus loves them, um, and that to follow Jesus means to follow after him, to become more like Christ. Uh, as the Bible says, to become uh, his workmanship, to be made in his image, in, in his likeness. And as a Young Life leader, that's my dream and my desire for my students is to be like Jesus and to have their identity uh, found in Jesus and, and not uh, the things of this world. I absolutely love being a Young Life leader and it has truly blessed my life. I love being able to spend extra time with students, uh, getting to know them, having fun at club, but also, you know, going deeper, talking about hard things and situations, being able to, you know, teach the gospel to them and feel very blessed that I get to do this and would encourage anyone, if it's on your heart, to, you know, be involved with the youth, be involved with, you know, teens, the next generation. I would encourage you to, yeah, sign up to be a Young Life Leader because we do, we have so much fun, but also it's a great way to build relationships with teenagers and relationships that last and relationships that mean something. And I'm really grateful for the relationships that I am currently building with these amazing, amazing, amazing teenagers. Um, they bring so much joy to my life as well. So I feel really blessed and honored that I get to do this. Being a Young Life leader is uh, a great experience because it allows me to, to interact with um, teenage guys in my class. And for me as a teacher, it helps me to break down the barrier of kind of the us versus them and, and teachers versus students and to actually be engaged in a friendship, in a relationship that's meaningful and significant with them. And what's cool is I hope that they learn from me, but I'm learning from them. And we're uh, in a relationship together and we're striving together to follow Jesus and to, to be like him. And so I'm hoping that I'm teaching and imparting some of what it means to follow Jesus into their lives uh, but they're also doing that for me as well. And that's one huge blessing that I get is to be able to um, have a meaningful relationship with these guys 
um, that, that works both ways. We often get asked why be a young life leader and why do I personally do it. It is definitely something that I really felt that God put on my heart a year ago was to be spending more time with teenagers, being able to share the gospel, to share about Jesus, to help them find their own unique relationship with Jesus as well. And to be able to walk that out, to be able to encourage them, like I've already said, encourage them, walk with them, believe in them, and just have that extra time to be able to share with them and you know invite them into my journey as well to build those relationships. I would recommend it to anyone. If you have a heart for teens, sign up, be a leader, do it because it, it does. In turn, it changes your life as well. So yeah, I love it. To support Young Life Ministry, I'm the prayer chair on the Young Life support team here in Kigali. Um, so I also pray for leaders and for the kids. The aim of us as a support team is to support and uplift those who are in direct ministry with kids. So we're behind the scenes, but we're 100% behind the day-to-day -day ministry that's happening. God worked through Young Life over the last 10 years here in Kigali, and it's been amazing to see how um, kids' lives have been changed. I attended clubs, campaigners, camps, and come to know Jesus through all of those, and that's been a really exciting thing. The Lord has also answered huge prayers through Young Life, and um, we're excited to see what else he's continuing to do. Picture this. In Rwanda Young Life, we see kids in who they are becoming. They are more than the sum of their behavior and past. We step into the mess and brokenness of life so that we may carry them to the one who can heal. And regardless of how hard, we will keep going back. We will go no matter what. Now picture you going with us.